Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the smart duplication option in Maya 2018. Smart duplication option was not available before Maya 2018. It is a new version. It is a new version where you can find this option. Now, what is smart duplication tool do? Now, uh, before 2018, uh, if you have to duplicate any object like uh, in the viewport, you have to select the object, press shift D and then pull the object apart from its uh, original position like this you cannot uh, duplicate any object on the go or in a real time basis smart duplication is a very handy tool which actually uh, give the modeler a very powerful option uh, and also save a lot of time uh, working on the shortcuts and and creating any shelf buttons and all so what we can do with the smart smart duplication we have to just hold our shift button and drag the object with the move rotate or scale tool so that the objects can be you know um, objects can be uh, duplicated in a very uh, seamless manner now let me uh, let me show you a very small example but before that we have to uh, <coughs> turn on that option which is on the tool settings of the move, rotate and scale tool. So you have to double click that and in the tool settings, you will see under the symmetry settings, your smart duplication, some smart duplicate settings is there, which was not available in my uh, previous version of Maya. So the first option is the shift plus drag to duplicate the object. The second option is shift plus drag to extrude the components. Now extrusion is a very uh, unique uh, or, and separated feature, which has been, uh, include in this option now by default the shift drag to extrude components are on but the duplicate options are basically off so what we have to do we have to turn on this the moment you turn on this one the geometry type is actually been activated which will ask you that what you want to do whether you want to copy the object or you want to have an instance of the object so smart duplication is actually supporting the instance objects for the instance objects also so it's a very handy one if you want to uh, duplicate your objects in a multiple uh, number and uh, in the same in the same time at the same time you also want to uh, you know edit them and uh, uh, make the changes to the all the copies so in that case you have to use this instance or else you can leave it with a copy so after you turn it on don't reset the but uh, reset the tool because uh, the reset tool will, will also you know <coughs> turn off the option so i will just uh, uh, close this window of the tool settings now what this will do is the moment i hit shift you can see the clone written on the on top of the move tool or the move tool gizmo so what you can do is you just press shift and drag and immediately you can see that um, <coughs> that object has been duplicated now this is a very handy tool when when you are actually modeling and you, you, you are having a very tight deadline so what you can do after this is just shift drag shift d uh, for duplicating the the number increase the number of duplication which will incrementally create the duplicate or number of copies so this is a very interesting one which you can do and this is not actually work only on the move tool but also on the rotate tool so what you can do is if you select this one let me go to the top viewport press d and move your pivot point into the base great press d again now what you can do is or maybe a little bit more press D fine you can press X also to snap with the grid great so now if you go to the see immediately I shift I hold shift the clone option is turned on and okay fine now press shift d d and it's duplicating so this is a very interesting one uh, to work with with the smaller objects which you want to populate into on on something on something which is uh, uh, really great uh, like for the scale options which is really a interesting one and see 
you can duplicate the objects in a very seamless manner now this is <coughs> really helpful for uh, for the modelers who are actually uh, working on on a very tight deadline and and for the, for their workflow okay so now i would like to show you oops now one thing i felt that you, uh, that you people have to be very very careful about that that uh, if this option is turned on now selecting multiple objects will sometime give you a little bit of headache right no you know what happens sometimes when we select multiple objects by holding shift it might happen that we can actually accidentally move a little bit the moment you move a little bit your duplication is already been happened so what will happen you will automatically uh, see there are some unwanted duplication has been happened so you have to be very very careful how to i mean when to use this particular tool because this particular option sometimes if you are not using it in a very cautious manner it can give you a head a small amount of headache also okay so uh, okay for windows sorry and to the center pivot great x okay now i'll just move this object apart and take a small Oh, what can I say? Yeah, it's a box. Let's see. Now this is very interesting one because now I can actually extrude by duplicating the faces or the edges or the vertex uh, by holding the shift like this because this is actually creating a dupli not duplication but the extrude. So what you can do is any component mode like this one shift drag and immediately you can see the geometry has been created so select this shift drag and immediately the extrusion is happening it's not the duplication of the component which actually happened uh, a few of the few of few other 3d softwares but it is actually creating the extrusion option uh, of that particular component so what it can do is i can select this one shift and drag and immediately you can see the 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 extrusion actually being created select this shift and drag and extrusion but very 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 careful that you can land it up in a non manifold geometry or an uh, uh, a very uh, or a very uh, weird kind of geometry uh, by by using using in the vertex component mode so it's better to stick with the uh, edge and uh, a face mode rather than extrusion uh, if you are using this if you want to using this uh, particular tool in a very extensive manner let me show you a very quick way i mean sorry uh, let me show you a very quick uh, example of how fast we can actually you know uh, create the model uh, create any any sort of uh, you know model which we which might take a little longer time for you know uh, by using the older option like uh, uh, the G key we generally used to use uh, the G key after you know setting uh, the <coughs> setting that once once we use the extrude option and then we use multiple times the g key and it will come up with the uh, manipulation manipul extrude manipulator tool which which actually going to help us you know uh, for creating the extrusion but here it's very very handy and we can literally use the extrusion and our modeling speed will automatically been in increased Let's see scale shift drag then again shift drag then scale then again shift drag and it's done i'm just creating a very small uh, example very rough example of a sort of a sort of a hammer or or something like that you can see so it's very uh, uh, 
uh, it's not that good but anyway it's the idea is that you can create this kind of an object or any sort of an object uh, which uh, which will actually help you uh, uh, model the object very fast way I will show you a uh, very soon we are going to come up with a face modeling tutorial series where uh, this particular tool will, tool will be extensively used uh, because uh, Maya is uh, Maya is uh, I mean th this this particular uh, feature has been uh, incorporated in Maya after a very very uh, long years which is a kind, kind of a uh, people have actually been expecting this away earlier but anyway uh, uh, thanks to the developer team of Autodex that uh, had come up with the idea and uh, very easy for the modelers so hope you enjoy this one please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter thank you very much